in standard quantum mechanics, the wave function collapses upon observation, right? Um, I always thought, therefore, that the collapse of the wave function is something essential for the theory. However, in Bormian mechanics, the wave function always evolves according to Schrödinger's equation and therefore never collapses. So how can that be? What's the coll collapse of the wave function then in Bormian mechanics? In Bormian mechanics, the collapse of the wave function is not an axiom anymore, but can be derived from the usual Schrödinger equation. The wave function in Bormian mechanics always evolves according to Schrödinger evolution, but in addition to the wave function, we still have the particle positions. The actual configuration of the particles corresponds to one point in configuration space, which is guided by the wave function. If now the wave function is in a superposition of different branches, and these different branches do not overlap on configuration space, we can identify one unique branch which guides the actual configuration of the particles. Suppose now that the branches which evolve according to the Schrödinger equation will for all practical purposes never again overlap. This is called decoherence and this is what usually happens in measurement situations. In this situation, the actual configuration of the particles will stay in the same branch of the wave function forever. The other branches are no longer relevant for the dynamics of the particles. We do not lose information about anything of physical relevance if we forget about them and only treat the re remaining branch as the wave function of the system. This is called the effective collapse in Bohmian mechanics and the remaining branch is called the effective wave function.